Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Erskine the Prophet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today I have a very important video for y'all. Uh, this video is titled Viruses, Immune Systems, and Antivirals. And the reason I felt the need to make this video is because to me, it seems like a lot of people are misinformed about viruses and, you know, uh, how they affect you, how to fight them. You know, I'm by no means an expert, but, you know, I am healthy enough and I am informed enough to inform some of you guys about some things you may not know. Now, in terms of viruses, uh, I don't really know like where they come from, you know, how we get them. You know, I don't know if they you know if we breathe them in or they go or they can go through our pores. You know, I know some viruses are sexually transmitted, uh, but we really don't know all of the information that we should. And we really should know, you know, it's outrageous that the American people don't know anything about viruses. But we running around like idiots with all these masks on and standing six feet apart like that's going to help us. And I, I can tell you for a fact, and I'm not even an expert, but one thing I've realized is there are no experts on viruses. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how these things, we don't even know to the extent that these viruses are alive. They say they're living, but how, how are they alive? And what way are they living? We don't even know that. So, you know, somebody needs to do a much better job of informing us. You know, I would even go so far as to say, that viruses needs to be a part of the curriculum in schools. Like we need to be teaching kids about viruses, how not to contract them and how to fight them if you do contract them. And uh, for these kids to teach their parents about them as well. So, you know, in terms of a virus also, say if, say if you get a virus, can you even kill a virus? Can a virus be killed? When you if you if you have a virus and you kill it within your body, does the virus stay there or does it leave your body somehow? If it does stay there, can it somehow be reanimated? Can certain events re, you know, trigger it the way it may reanimate somehow, you know, within your body? Uh, or does our body treat it like how, you know, like a computer would treat a virus? You know, on a computer, if you get a virus, a lot of the times you don't get rid of the virus. The computer just quarantines the virus so that the virus can't do any more damage? And do our bodies quarantine the virus? You know, these are things that we need to know that, that nobody seems to be able to tell us. And, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have an understanding of how viruses work on a scientific level. I really don't. You know, I don't know, how, you know, in terms of are they airborne, you know, are they surface dwelling? I, I really don't know how they, how they get into us. I don't understand that aspect. But the one thing I do understand without a shadow of a doubt. And, you know, I'll debate anybody on this, is that the only way to effectively fight a virus is to have a strong immune system. That is the only way to fight a virus. That is your only defense against a virus is to have a strong immune system. And what that means is you have to be healthy. You have to be a healthy person. So, in terms of immune systems, you know, the first thing I would recommend is to exercise regularly, four to five times a week. And I'm talking serious working out. You know, I work out all the time. I love working out. And it definitely has done a lot of, you know, I never get sick. Really, me even doing this video is for your benefit, not mine, because I don't even, if I even had, I wouldn't even be worried about getting the virus. I'm sure if I got it, I'd be sick for a few days and get rid of it. It wouldn't be a big deal for me. But for a lot of you people, who don't exercise, you know, you need, you might need to be worried. I'm going to tell y'all, man, if, if you don't listen to anything else I say, everybody needs to be exercising. That's, I'm serious. It, it, it's especially as you get older. You know, you start hitting your 30s, 40s, 50s. Man, you need to be exercising. I'm telling you. If you want to have any quality of life whatsoever, you know, you need to be either in the gym, doing a martial art, you know, uh, playing a sport, yoga, you know, anything that gives you a, you know, workout. You just need to be working out. You, you need to. It's just no ifs, ands, buts about it. Everybody needs to be exercising. All adults need to be exercising. The other thing is, you know, the other part of having, you know, a strong immune system is eating healthy. 
you have to eat healthy. And what I really mean by eating healthy is making sure your body gets all of the nutrients that it needs to perform effectively, you know, i.e. your organs working, your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your vision, your hearing, all of that. Your body needs nutrients for all of those organs to function properly. You know, so understand also, this is very important, not all of us eat the same things. Not all of us are capable of eating the same things. So your diet has to be tailored to you specifically, which means you need to know your body to the extent of knowing what it needs to be put in it to, you know, run efficiently. You know, what works for Tim may not work for me. I don't eat cheese. You know, I know people who don't eat tomatoes, who don't, who don't eat coconut. You know, a lot of us just don't eat the same things. So we have to figure out, you know, what, you know, what nutrients are going to best work for us. And also understand that the body doesn't absorb nutrients the same way from, from everything for everybody. And what I mean by that is, say if you have a pineapple and you have an orange, you know, the pineapple has vitamin C and the orange has vitamin C. Now, your body may not, your, your body may not absorb the vitamin C from the pineapple, but may absorb all of the vitamin C from the orange. So even if the pineapple had more vitamin C, it don't really matter because you can't absorb it. So that's one thing you have to also understand when you're eating and what you eat is, you know, what can your body absorb from what you're putting into it? That is like very important. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, and all of our bodies don't absorb things the same way. You also have to understand that. So you have to figure out what works better, whether you need the orange or the pineapple, so to speak, you know, and uh, the, the other part of eating healthy is, you know, one thing I'll say too, if you have cravings, listen to your cravings. The reason you are craving something is more than likely your body needs something. Like say if you're craving a milkshake, you may be low on calcium. You know, if you're craving a burger, you may be low on iron. You know, if you're craving orange, orange juice, you may be low on vitamin C. So just keep in mind that what, uh, that those, listen to those cravings. Because if you're getting them, more than likely your body needs something. Um, the other part I was going to mention is you have to drink plenty of water. Make sure you are drinking water. That is how you flush all of the impurities out of your body. Otherwise, that stuff stays in your body and leads to illness and, you know, other ailments. Drink plenty of water. You know, flush your kidneys. It's very, very important. Now, the last part of this video that I wanted to uh, talk about is all of the various antivirals out there. They, they are good for boosting your immune system and fighting viruses. And let me explain this. I actually went to a health store and I asked the lady there who, and the lady's very knowledgeable. She helps me all the time. But I asked her, I was like, um, do you have any antivirals? And she was like, no, nah, we don't have any antivirals. I'm like, how what are you talking about? You got to have antivirals. But she was like, no, nah, but we have a bunch of immune boosters. And she pointed me to these immune boosters on this table and they were actually all antivirals. So understand this. Anything that boosts the immune system that helps you fight off viruses is considered antiviral. That's antiviral. If it helps boost your immune system to fight viruses, it's antiviral. So any immune, any immune booster is going to be considered antiviral. But not all antivirals are considered immune, immune boosters. Uh, for example, I have olive leaf extract here which is not an immune, immune boot, blah, I can't say it, good God. Not an immune booster, but it, it is an antiviral. This does fight specific viruses. Just so y'all know, when I first, I did a video about olive leaf extract and when somebody commented back to me and they told me that this right here is effective against coronavirus. Now, I don't have a way to prove that. I don't know to, that to be true. I know this is effective against certain viruses, and if it is effective against coronavirus, that would be, you know, a hell of a thing to know. I have plenty of this. So, you know, if I ever got it, which I don't think I'll ever get it. But if I did, I would have this. But if anybody knows that to be true, please leave a comment, you know, say something. If any of these antivirals I show you all, if you all know what viruses they're actually good for, please comment. And let the rest of us know, because <coughs> even though I do know. That these are antiviral. I don't know all of the viruses that they are effective against. You know, I just keep as many as I can. 
And as y'all can see, I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. This is the olive leaf extract. That's antiviral. Uh, here's turmeric. That's supposed to be considered antiviral. Uh, these are reishi mushrooms. Uh, this has been used in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. Uh, a lot, a lot of studies have actually shown it to be anti anti cancerous. Uh, where it fights cancer cells. So, you know, I'm gonna keep that in the collection. Uh, I have echinacea, that's antiviral. I have colloidal silver. This is a super antiviral right here. Like, if I ever got something real serious, that's the first thing I'm gonna go to. Uh, here go another, uh, this, astragalus. This has also been used in Chinese medicine for uh, thousands of years. And it's also an immune, immune booster as well, which makes it antiviral. And I think this also uh, has been known to fight cancer cells in some studies. So, you know, that's another one to think of. These are my ginger chews. Not so much antiviral, but trust me, ginger is always good to have around in case you get a, a stomach ache. Uh, we have clove. Clove, I don't, clove I, could be antiviral. I don't know if it really uh, affects the immune system, but I know. You know, it's definitely antibacterial. Uh, and if you ever get a toothache, this is good stuff to have, you know, to put in your mouth if you ever got a tooth infection or toothache. Uh, clove oil. Let's see, uh, see that? Uh, that's lavender. That is, yeah, that's more of an essential oil. Uh, more olive leaf extract. I have two of them. Now, this is colloidal silver gel. Now this is more so if you get like a cut or a scrape or a burn or something like that, you will use this, to, uh, it's like a topical uh, ointment. And, oh my God, of course this, we cannot forget elderberry. Got to have elderberry, one of the most popular antivirals out right now. That's my elderberry syrup. Uh, oh, and another big boy, another super, the black seed oil. Everybody, I'm sure a lot of you know about black seed oil and its antiviral, antibacterial properties. And what else do we have? Garlic. Another big boy. I keep garlic just in case if I ever got like a really nasty cold, um, a really bad cold, I will keep that garlic. Um, this is quercetin. Now, this is not really an antiviral. But I was told that this is really good if you have allergies or sinus problems. If you have allergies or sinus, give this a shot. This could be very helpful to you. I really don't suffer from allergies or sinuses. I really don't have any health, uh, health issues, to be honest. I do have one more thing to show you. Give me one sec. Let me go run and get it. I'm going to show you another very powerful antiviral that I have. Okay, this right here, this is three pounds of sea moss. Sea moss is a very powerful antiviral as well. And it also has potassium chloride in it, which destroys mucus. So if you're suffering from a virus, allergies, sinuses, cold, you know, you may want to make you some gel from the sea moss. I got a video on how to do that as well. Uh, you can check my videos. Um, so sea moss is definitely good to have. To be, I haven't taken it in about two months. Once the weather changes again, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make some more gel to take. But people I know who take this swear by it that they never get sick. Everybody who I know that takes sea moss say they never ever get sick. I don't get sick anyway either, to be honest. But even if I did, I have plenty of things at my disposal to take care of it from a natural, holistic perspective. I keep it natural, I keep it holistic. Before I end this video, let me just talk, say a few things. What I'm seeing from the American people is very, very disappointing. Man, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I can't believe we're just this slow and stupid now. Nobody wants to think for themselves. Nobody wants to be healthy. Nobody wants to take responsibility. And honestly, I'm not going to tell you all too. That, that's your choice to make. <clears throat> but I can tell you this. I'm healthy. I'm not scared of a virus. I'm not worried about a virus. So I'm, if, you, if you're running around all paranoid, take the time to exercise. Take the time to eat healthy. Take the time to learn about all of these antivirals. I put a lot of them up here for you, a lot of them. If you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment. Understand, a mask is not gonna make you healthy. A mask does not improve your immune system at all. 
six feet apart is stupid. Uh, you who think does anybody really think a virus can't travel six feet? This is all. This is why they are putting the stupidity out to the American people is beyond me. If you really want to live, and if you're really concerned about a virus, listen to me. I'm the kind of guy you need to come to. I, I know what's going on. I'm showing you what's going on. Not and not me. There's there's a lot of other people like me. Find somebody who's holistic, who understands about antivirals and nature, who understands about how to be healthy, nutritionists, people who exercise. I can answer any question you need related to help. All you got to do is hit me up. I showed y'all the book. I wrote a book. It's, it's no game. This is how I live. You know what I'm saying? I can flex for y'all if y'all need me to. I, 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 I work out all the time. And um, yeah, please like the video. Please, please, please like the video. Please subscribe. You know, if you have any questions about anything, I, I'm not I'm not an expert on viruses and I don't proclaim to be, but I do know how to be healthy to the point where you won't have to worry about the virus. And if you did get the virus, you know what I'm saying, and you're not healthy, I can at least tell you a few things. Well, I've showed you a bunch of things here that work against antivirals by way of boost, boosting the immune system. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, please hit me up. Like the video, subscribe, comment. I love y'all. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. Peace.